Hey everybody, Merry Week 1, NFL Week starting right now, and that means it's fantasy time. This is a DraftKings fantasy football analyzing Excel helper thing that I built that I like to share with everyone and you can mess around with because I enjoy doing what, you know doing that as well. So it's Thursday night, uh, the big game, Carolina-Denver. Rematch of the Super Bowl is happening right soon. It'll probably happen by the time you watch this video. And... So I've got this file where I exported all of the salary and player information for the, the DraftKings there, you know. Put up five bucks and try to win a million, why not have some fun? So when you dump all the, the data in here, you start to throw it into this pivot table framework that, that I've built. And I'm messing around showing you what things you can do with it. You can use those little slicers up top to look by things like position um, and team and game and even name. And it shows you the average points they got over the last year's season. That, that's all data from last year. And, and starting in next week's file after week one is done, it's going to start to be, uh, you know, 2016 stats. So that's going to be one game in there starting next week. And then you add, I'll add to it every uh, every week. But um, this, this is fun. I'm showing you how to do conditional formatting right there. If I like to add this, like, red to green scale of color so that a high salary is red and a lower salary is green to show where people might offer value and have deals. You know, like the greens, like Geno Smith there. Why is he green with so many points per game? Maybe he's not playing. Maybe something's up. I don't know. But it's something to look into when you see some green speckle, you know, pop out there at you. And the same idea is going for the points, except the green is the higher number and the red's the lower number. So green is, is good that they're scoring a lot. So you can do different sorts in this pivot table and different hierarchies of data so that you can look at things any way you want to. That field list that I just opened up there, that's the field list. You get it if you right click and choose field list anywhere inside the pivot table, allows you to structure that. So I'm bringing in things like teams and the game and the name and allowing you to browse by position. And this is the drill down basically. It's called drilling down into data. So. It's interesting to see how much each team, you know, the salaries per team per position for certain things. It's kind of cool to see that. Uh, I end up sorting this by points and also by salary to get a nice comparison. You can see where things kind of go off the color thing. You know, you see the Rams defense is apparently too highly priced for their point per game according to last year. And the opposite is true with the greens and the reds and the opposite there. So it's kind of a nice color coded way of spotting potential things that might help your pick because what I've learned about fantasy is it's fun but you can't pick every guy that everyone else is going to pick you got to pick sleepers that do really well that's how you place in big tournaments so you have to find the the pebble the diamond in the rough whatever you want to call it right um, and this kind of uh, provides some assistance in doing that I would hope now you're going to be able to um, toggle and sort in all these different ways and compare teams and compare positions as well. So I was I, I like the, the Chiefs defense a lot when I was messing around and looking through things because they're playing San Diego. They have a really high defense, uh, a really good defense. San Diego's poor. Um, you, you, it's a really cool look. I mean, look at, look at how you get to look at all the different average prices, average position by team. It's just cool stuff. So um, I'll keep up to... You know, updating this file and the download link in the description below. Uh, have fun with it. Let me know if you have any comments or want me to add different things to it. You need to add a comment section basically per player. I don't have this broken out per player as you really are going to see. There's a player right there, right, Brady and everybody else. I need to have a comment line there and also comments about the week they're playing. So that's going to require some intelligence to go ahead and do that. But I think it's worth it. And everything else, all the other hard numbers and salaries and everything is there. So good luck, everybody. I hope everybody wins a million dollars, even though, of course, that's not possible at all. So Ken Stocks out.